Hello, hello, here is BB Walker. Welcome to my channel again. Today, a special video, a little bit different than usual. I get for you unboxing and then reviewing of this Unity Professional Thermal Imager model UTI 712S. I would like to thank you at the beginning for 11,000 subscribers. Yes, and this is present, which I have bought myself because I've always wanted to have such a device in my home studio, garage, and any other stuff. So, um, basically, let's take a look on over the box. It's not a sponsored video. I bought it by myself, but my by uh, my own money. Here is the uh, sensor types and parameters. Uh, 120, uh, 90 pixels resolution. And the screen size is 2.4 LCD. Uh, 2.4 inches, the class 2 uh, for the laser. Actually, this is the parameters. Let's take a look inside. This is very cheap budget thermal imager sensor. In the box, we got um, instruction manual, but it is very cool if you're doing some homework, uh, you want to check buildings for um, thermal um, bridges etc um so here is the instruction manual uh, we got uh, usb a to c cable for charging as i see we also get the sd camera because this model s actually stands for sd there are several other similar here is some kind of strap to you know use it and here is the actual imager the thermal camera and so basically um let's check this lcd screen yes as you can see it hello it has uh, 2.4 inches um screen and what do we have in here is a place where we can uh, mount the sd card and USB-C for charging. I will open it, we'll try and install this SD camera. So how to install SD, uh, SD card? I think it will be in this direction. So let's try, um, honestly, I'm doing it for the first time. Uh, I was testing it a little bit before recording this video. So let's start the as you can see, it starts instantly, but it's not the full start because um, this is wake up mode. It is in standby, and if you if you use it and then start again, it works. As you can see, it works pretty smooth. I mean, only if you switch to a different location and calibrating shows up the device freeze for a moment. Uh, this is because. Um, it shows uh, a different ranges and as you can see on the screen we see the actual uh, temperature in here pointed by this here was the calibration pointed by this cross uh, but also it shows two things the hottest point and the coolest point um all right so let's take a look um inside the menu so we are clicking ok and we get image view for showing for browsing images so maybe we could do some image so here is the trigger like in pistol you are making some measurements and save success and now if you go on to image view you can browse this image so nice feature to save images uh, into files screen display on the screen display we get all the information uh, uh, showed enabled so the center point high low point so the highest temperature and the lowest temperature palette and date time mm, hey high low alert so we could use a boozer if something uh, reaches beyond or above the point led light so basically if we enable it we get flashlight enabled all the time 
nice feature but probably use a lot of um, battery palette palette so the, the default is rainbow so the colors are from calibrating again from red super red and uh, to something below the bl uh, violet blue so we could change into iron we could change into white hot so it is uh, like in military thermovision so the the hotter points are going to white maybe it's not seen now because of my um, camera uh, we got black hot so everything which is black it's hotter than the rest rainbow AC lava and we go back to the default okay go back settings let's take a look language temperature unit we could charge for celsius and fahrenheit parameters okay laser laser means basically if you press the it is now enabled if you press it shows the point where you are actually pointing and measuring the temperature all right so nice feature you can see that if i'm warming up this box for a little bit and leave this is the ghost sign because it's fading into black because i have heated up with my warm hand this box for a while as you can see this is the result all right stop stop making around so basically we have reached all the settings which you can have so disable the device what I, what can we say about the overall quality of the building very tough i mean very good this is some kind of rubber um but it is waterproof it is shock proof as i have said on the box somewhere here yeah so ip45 uh, water and dust proof six possible pellets to the display high low alarm pc analytics software honestly i didn't test it yet i haven't tested it yet laser and two meters drop proof i <laughs> won't be testing it and uh, here is some uk and canada well the price is really cool and i think it's worth having in your garage uh, if you're doing something with uh, electricity if you're doing something with you know if you want to m improve your um, thermal um, efficiency of your building of your house you want to find uh, weak spots when the heats go up we know that there's an energy crisis and energy prices are hiking uh, and, and basically energy gas electricity is very expensive so thanks for watching it was bb walker don't forget to subscribe if you will like this channel and soon there will be new videos about yamaha bs rs 670 because i know you are waiting for new videos there are some topics from you so don't worry Soon there will be update. See you later.